From the Cruise Radio Studio in Jacksonville, Florida, this is Cruise News Today with Doug Parker. Good morning. Here's your cruise news for Monday, January 17th, 2022. Three more Carnival Cruise Line ships have dropped Key West for January and February. Key West port calls on Carnival Conquest, Dream, and Sunrise were dropped as docking discussions continue with the island. The vessels will either skip the port for a sea day or visit Cozumel, Mexico instead. Cruise lines continue to be in talks with Key West about calling to the port. A ruling forbids ports to regulate maritime commerce in Florida. However, the cruise lines are trying to play nice with the island. And as we reported over the weekend, the CDC let the conditional sailing order expire on Saturday, moving the CSO to voluntary status. But they weren't the only federal agency that weighed in on the cruise industry. Federal Maritime Commissioner Louis Sola released his final report after a two-year fact-finding study regarding the financial, job, and tourism hit the pandemic had on the cruise industry. They, they released details about the, you know, how vital the economic engine that the cruise industry uh, is. The commissioner uh, said that the ports and the cruise lines have aggressively pursued creating the standards and infrastructure that allow ships to sail and be prepared to manage any health contingency that manifests. Stuart Chiron there from CruiseGuy.com. The industry shutdown impacted 436,000 North American jobs and in the first year caused an economic loss of $39 billion. However, the CSO expiring over the weekend didn't change much for Florida's cruise industry. A federal judge's ruling over the summer made the order non-binding after the state sued the CDC for federal overreach. And if you want to cruise from Spain, you'll need to get a booster shot that includes cruises from Barcelona. The country will soon require that visitors from the U.S. have their COVID-19 booster shot to enter the country. The rule goes into effect on February 1st and applies to travelers who had their initial vaccination over 270 days prior to arrival. The booster must be received at least two weeks before traveling to Spain. Other countries that are also requiring the booster include the Netherlands as of February 1st, as well as Austria. And cruise line stocks were flat on Friday. Carnival Corporation, 22.94. Royal Caribbean, 84.19. And Norwegian, 22.93. Breaking news and up-to-the-minute industry coverage at cruiseradio.net. I'm Doug Parker with Cruise News Today. Cruise News Today is a production of Cruise Radio. For daily updates, subscribe to the Cruise Radio YouTube channel or visit cruiseradio.net.